Alright, we're back. Thanks for staying with us on this Foodie Friday and we're in the kitchen. This is where I like to be. This is where the magic happens. I had to drink, lounge at Bistro. And yes, this gentleman next to me, chef is taking a, a day off on us and the, day off. the chief cook and bottle washer here at uh, Drink Lounge and Bistro, uh, the owner and proprietor Dale Ramirez is with me. And Dale, you're not only the owner and proprietor, but you also you also get down to the nitty gritty in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah, I can mop, I can cook, I can <laughs> paint, you I can, can do... Can mop and cook and paint and yeah, yeah. everything that needs I, to be I, done. I'm of the, the view that I need to learn everything yeah. if I expect other people to do it. Yeah, excellent, so excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, um, we, we want to get down to what you're going to do first today because mm -hmm. this is something a little out of the box here at a drink. Yeah, it's out of the box at drink because it's actually in another location. Right. This this dish that we're preparing isn't prepared at drink, it's actually prepared at Humzinger. Right. Humzinger is actually drink sister company. Right. And it's located not too long, not too far away from here, it's in Newtown and actually um, a new branch is opening in Maraval in a couple of three weeks or so. Nice, nice. Pretty excited nice, about that. Nice, nice. Um, but the, the meal that we're presenting is a sandwich. Right. It's a bistro style. It's actually a lamb burger. I know lamb is probably one of your favorite That meats. is one of my favorite It's meats. one of yeah, mine yeah. as well. I have the lamb meatballs every time I, I, I come oh, that's good. drink. Good. Yeah, and, so. and, and we've adapted that same meat and turned it into a really awesome burger. Right. Um, with three main components. All right, we start with the lamb meat. Fresh lamb. Fresh lamb meat Fresh ground. Meat we could min you could ground this in house if you have a little grinder, or you could buy this means you know at a supermarket Anywhere. or mm -hmm. you know a gourmet shop or something. Nice. Then another important component would be very good bread. Right. You can have a good sandwich without good bread, and we use ciabatta bread. Right. So you're right. not using a regular burger bun. No regular burger bun here. Yeah, this is there's nice. enough of that out there. We yeah. try to do something yeah, a little yeah, different. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And ciabatta is actually um, an Italian loaf. Um, yeah. It's it's their version of the French bread. Right. All right. 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 Um, this is the ciabatta bread. Ciabatta and bread. we usually yeah. slice it. And actually, I'll put this in the oven one time because right. we like to make sure the bread is crispy on the outside, nice and warm on the inside. That makes the that experience makes the whole difference. Yeah, a lot yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, get, get him in the oven. Yeah. All so right. the bread goes in the oven for like about five minutes just to toast up. Right. Um, when it comes out, you'll see what I mean. Yes. All right. Then we have the third and uh, probably one of the other very ex important components is the fresh herbs. Right. Um, in lamb, most people think of mint, mint. and rosemary. And we're not going to reinvent the wheel. Right. We use it. You know, we because use mint, mint and lamb. Mint and lamb yeah, mint and perfect. lamb. Yeah. People use mint jelly yeah. and lamb. We use fresh mint. Yeah. We use fresh rosemary. Ooh, yeah. This is uh, fresh rosemary from a friend's garden. Right. And we like to do that. We like to use the things that we get on hand without having to go too far for it. Right. All right. Um, so we actually so put, what are we doing? We put those together. I'm your along sous chef with, if you need me to be. Yes, yeah, we put yeah, those yeah. together mm. with some dried herbs. We have some house seasonings. In house stuff, we can't tell you all the secrets. No. Um, but there is definitely <laughs> salt, black pepper, your you know traditional garlic powder. Right. Um, we actually have jerk seasoning this that is we a jerk add. Jerk seasoning. Yeah, we do that. Right. Um, a little paprika and cayenne as well. Paprika, cayenne, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little of that. I won't tell you what that you is. You won't tell me what that is. No, I won't. Right. Um, I'll tell you in a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> um, and then, uh, well, usually in the base would be a little bit of minced garlic. Right. All right, so we put the garlic in. I have actually minced some here already. Right. All right, so put the garlic in. You could put these in as well. All, 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 they've all, all been, yeah, they've all been pre-measured for this two and a half pound serious? batch. Yeah. Okay. All right. There, so that's what they call bulk, bulk cooking there. Yeah. 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 So there goes there. The, this is the, uh, this is the. That's Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. <coughs> this is the uh, your special juke seasoning. Yep. Special juice. It something. might look like a lot, but yeah. don't worry. We, Serious. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much would you think this this is? Uh, in terms of what the quantity, quantity of the yeah, yeah. um like about two to three tablespoons, give and take. But everyone has a different variation on. We don't know what this is. Don't worry. Some people <laughs> may know. That's right. And, and then we put the egg in. All right, uh, this egg. One is, egg. Yeah, one egg. Yeah. Two and a half pounds of meat, right. and you need to get your hands dirty. Hey, hey. All right, once your hands are clean, and hands, yeah, hands yeah are clean. you just put it in. You always wash your hands in your kitchen, right, and that's fine. So, I could, I could right, so you combine that. Right. Um, it'll take you a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. um, once you get all everything marinated in, yeah. um, we've put in the fresh basil, sorry, the fresh rosemary and mint already as well. And after combining this, you put it in the in a chiller, the fridge. Right. Cover it with a little saran wrap. Yeah. And you combine this with, I'll give you some of this. Yeah. <laughs> you combine it with, um, you put it in the chiller and you leave it for about an hour. Right. You, you, that way, all the, the, you give the rosemary and the mint a chance to kind of fuse into the rest of the meat. Right. And that will make all the difference 
when it's time for this. Right. Oh, and then you, you okay. So that's, yeah. the, that's, that's the party that you will literally. Yeah, this would be the party. Uh, I didn't do this by hand. Actually, I have a small mold that right. we could do that with. But you could do it by hand as well. Yeah. It's not a problem. Right. The significance of the shape of this burger has to do with the shape obvious, of the obvious, bread. Obvious, You're obviously. not going to have a burger bun with a rectangular. Right, obviously. Um, <laughs> rectangular um, piece of meat. Right. All right. Um, so after you do that, then you put that straight onto the grill right. with a little olive oil, extra virgin olive oil is what we like to use. All right. All right. And across here, if you see, this is what it looks like. Right. This would have been on the fire for like about five minutes. It right. needed another five minutes to cook throughout. So would you say um, five minutes on either side kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. Um, and with a burger, you don't really want a medium rare burger. Right. Burger should be cooked throughout. throughout. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, okay. I, I, that's my take on yeah, it. Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. So that yeah. would cook for about 10 minutes and um, after that, you prepare your bread. Yeah. And I should do that now. Yeah. The bread would have been nice and nice toasty. And warm. Yeah, nice and toasty. All right. Um, we would drizzle that with a little olive oil, mm -hmm. a little dried seasonings across here. Okay. So you you always season the bread. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's one element that people forget to do. Right. Um, right. But once you season the bread, you get a. A pretty right. decent. And, that, and, and that's just that's just dried or oregano or uh, that, yeah, that's Italian seasoning. Right. right. And then we take a little garlic sauce. This is how we do it at Humzinger again, right? Right. Um, mind you, if you don't like um, mayonnaise, you don't need to put this. Right. You can put your variation. Somebody else would want to put mint jelly right here at okay. this point. Right, right. We put the garlic sauce and we put fresh mint on top. Okay. As you say, the fresh ingredients kind of always brings out that little extra. Yeah, it does. It yeah. makes it makes a difference. But yeah, yeah. To each his own, right? Okay. Nice. So we have this down. Then you take a little arugula or oh. rocket. Right. Um, right. By the way, you could grow this in your own garden at home. Yeah. People think they need to go to a gourmet shop. You arugula could, can grow. In yeah, Trinidad? yeah, yeah, yeah. You can Seriously? grow in Trinidad. Okay, okay. You know, and it it is a it has a really nutty, fresh flavor. The, the, the scent with the fresh herbs is just fantastic. Right? It's yeah. just it's illuminating the entire. Kitchen. Right. Yeah. And then we put the patty on top. Okay. All right. So I'll take the patty. Yeah. With my spatula. Nice. And um, it would have been cooked. Oh my God! The scents in here. Ah. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> right. You top this with anything you want. Um, today we are topping it with with, with onions. With an onion. So this is a red onion. Right. Um, just give it a couple slices. Basic, give basic slice. Yeah. 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 You want to tuck your fingers in when you yeah, want yeah, that knife yeah, too, yeah, right? Right. 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 I want to. Right. Do that. Yeah. 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 See, put more spot here. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's all right. You're doing pretty good. Doing, doing all right. Yeah. 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 All right. That's more than enough. Um, but if you're cooking for a party, of course you want to cook. You want to have more onions, right? But right. today we're just doing for this. Um, then I put the olive oil. Put a little more drizzle of olive oil. Right. I like my food a little spicy, so I'd put some chili flakes. Right. Some customers will say, please, no chili flakes. I can't handle the heat. Right. But right. I like it. And a little extra garlic sauce. I think that's it. Um, and then we just take our bread. And top cover it. Up. Top it. And that's your lamb burger lamb burger yeah you, you, you have finished one there for just, just yeah just yeah. To show us. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah. and probably my own that i will sample you will sample yeah. that one yeah actually it's right here this is what the lamb burger would look like at humzinger and that's how it's served at humzinger it's yeah it, probably not in the plate yeah <laughs> but in a it, it'll cut be cut just like this and definitely taste the same way so this is humzinger's official yeah. lamb burger. burger all right guys let me i just, hope you enjoy it yeah let me just take a, a little bite here How's that? Mm. There's red pepper flakes in this one, huh? There is. Yep. Go, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you're not too... Um, mm -hmm. I, li I like the kick. Mm -hmm. Nice kick. Right. The, difference, the difference deal with the, the fresh ingredients, fresh herbs. Yeah. Uh, I think even the fresh, the dry, the dry herbs mm -hmm. really makes a big, big difference. Yeah, it does. All right? It does. Um, the, what we're going to do is that we're going to take this across to the bar. Mm -hmm. And allow our master mixer just to taste it as well. Right. And we're gonna see what that guy is. is really lucky. He's lucky, yeah? He's very lucky. He's lucky. He gets to eat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, thanks so much once again. You're welcome. Um, so that's going to be it. We're going to head across to the bar after where we're going to link up with uh, Stefan Scott. And he's going to prepare an uh, excellent cocktail that would pair well with this dish, this Humzinger dish, the Lamb Burger at Humzinger. We're coming right back. Stay with us.